kudos to you all. How you guys doing? My name's Anthony. I run this channel, Nights of Horror. We got to do it with some friends. I have some friends that help me out with it. Uh, you guys know the gist. Here for another construction update for the 2022 haunt season. It's been a while since we did one of these, so there's a lot to break down. We got some Not Scary Farm news. We got some Halloween Horror Nights news. Um, potential accidental giveaways for... Uh, mazes this year at halloween horror Nights. so let's start over at knots this one comes from our friends over at knots network so go follow their pages and subscribe to their channel but it looks like paranormal is finally gone and the new maze is currently under construction right now here in this picture you can see that they're doing an extension out to where the queue used to be for the line uh this has me kind of excited because that means they're going to expand on the maze so you're going to go inside which was already a pretty big floor plant from when I could see you going through. And now you're going to be going through this part of the maze as well. So uh, where you're going to enter the maze, I have yet to uh, hear any news about that yet. But if we get any news before haunt season starts, we will keep you guys informed on that. A lot of stuff is going vertical right now at um, Not Scary Farm. A lot of things are going up. And I'm excited to see what is still to come. Moving on. We have a uh, deeper look at the facades over at the Curious George parking garage area. These uh, images I screenshotted are courteous of TLEV Media, so go check their stuff out. Uh, links in the description below. But what it looks like we have right here is the Scarecrow rumored Scarecrow Maze original, um, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of... Uh, like of a floor plant they're still doing in the front but right now they're all all they're doing is all the interior and whatnot um however it does look dope i'm, I'm curious to see what this exterior is going to look like for the facade when it's completely done with lighting and everything uh when we see it in the dark so we shall see what that's going to be and right next to this is a familiar um, prop if you guys have been going to the event some time this wagon has made many appearances most notably in 2019 frankenstein meets the wolfman it was the wagon outside of the gypsy camp what this is going to be used for uh we do not know however looking at the scarecrow uh, facade and looking at this wagon you can kind of see that it would fit in perfectly it looks like it's going for like an old western look so i i have a feeling that this wagon will be seen in the facade of this to give that more uh, uh facade uh, life so we shall see what happens with that and then right across the way in the curious george area which was rumored and speculated to be American Werewolf in London now is looking more like a Halloween facade. It's looking like the Myers house as to what Halloween movie we will be getting this year. I do not know. Uh, a lot of people have been wanting to see the 2018 Blumhouse one as well as Halloween Kills. I, for one, would love to see it. I've seen Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 4 um, at the event. So I, I kind of want to see new Halloween and, and new Michael Myers, which would be really cool if they put that on, but it's looking like it's going to be a Halloween, uh, themed house this year. So we shall see. We'll keep you guys up to date with that. Moving up to the Parisian courtyard. Uh, the curse of La Llorona is coming back to HHN first time since 2012. And the facade is a dead giveaway. It's really hard to hide that facade, uh, cause it's in plain sight. However, it is a dead giveaway as to this coming back to the event once again. It has been nearly, it has been 10 years now since the, the last time we've seen this at Halloween Horror Nights. So it's safe to say this is due to be coming back. This was a fan favorite for two years. So I'm excited to see if they're going to add any changes, if they're going to keep it original. Uh, either way, I know I will enjoy it. Sammy's never been through it. I know he's looking forward to going through it. So it should be a fun time. Going down behind the Mummy Queue, which is now confirmed to be Universal Monsters uh, Legends Collide. Uh, this facade's looking good, and it looks like they're doing the same approach with the rumored to be Scarecrow original out in the Curious George parking lot, putting the fence around it. So my guess is it looks like a warehouse, and I know they're looking for an artifact. So I could see a lot of like crates and stuff being in the front of the facade uh, as you're going into this warehouse, and you're about to witness this all-out battle between the three to try to get this amulet. Uh, you being caught right in the middle of it. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing this maze. This is going to be a fun one, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they put on with the facade. I would say this one and, and the rumored Scarecrow are the, probably the most in progress uh, as far as the mazes go. I know they are painting inside the mazes and whatnot, um, so it's getting closer and closer every day. Now, 
This was going to be a rumored location, and now we are getting confirmation that it is going to be right behind the Transformers ride near Soundstage 29. Uh, this is the this was the location that was speculated on the last speculation map. Um, however, this one got me excited, man, and this one pretty much confirmed that Killer Clowns from Outer Space will be returning to the event in 2022. They try to cover it with a tarp. However, you could still see through the tarp uh, with the red and yellow, uh, which is the same colors as the Killer Clowns from Outer Space spaceship. And if you look at the facade, it's shaped like the spaceship. Nice try, Halloween Horror Nights, but we, we still saw through the tarp. Um, but I am... Genuinely excited that this is coming back. This was my favorite maze in 2019. Now to see it back again, uh, I, I'm probably going to buy a Frequent Fear Pass this year just so I can go see that multiple times. For those who know, uh, it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And I will be probably going every single weekend to um, just go through that at least once. So Killer Clowns from Outer Space is looking like it might be returning to Halloween Horror Nights in the new location. How are we going to get back there? We do not know yet. Hopefully we'll get some explanation to that soon, but only time will tell. Looking forward to seeing uh, the new location and how it works out and maybe potentially a future location. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about was the, um, again, going back to the Curious George parking lot area. This is a better view Um of the Halloween house from the, the tram exit. Again, all these stills from HHN were provided by TLEV Media. Go check them out. Links in the description below. Um, but it seems to get a better view of the Halloween house and kind of confirms more that this might be a Halloween maze instead of an American werewolf in London. Um, again, if they are going to do a Halloween maze, I would like them to do something based off the newer stuff like the 2018 and all the things that Blumhouse produced. So... Well, only time will tell again when this one gets announced. We've only got one confirmed announcement so far, which is Universal Monsters Legends Collide, uh, a shared property for uh, each coast this year. So. Well, um, we were going to end the video with just a simple construction update. Uh, and as I was in the editing process of this, um, something came up today, and this is that something. No, oh, are you serious? Why would you go in there? Don't go in there. Oh, really? Ooh, I guess this is the part where the boogeyman gets me. Uh-uh. Not real. <laughs> Step into the horror classic, Halloween. Only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. So yeah. Uh, Halloween. 1978 returning to Halloween Horror Nights. The first time since 2014. Or is it 15? I don't remember. 15, I think it was. Because the Titans of Terror came in 2016. I'm only here so I won't get fined. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Halloween announcement before this video ends because we want to give our thoughts and um, and opinions about it. So Sammy, uh, go ahead and take it away. Your thoughts, Halloween 1978 coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Yeah, definitely. Um, 1978, a, a film beloved by many. Um, I, I definitely, um, in my opinion, super excited. And I know that it's, uh, I don't know what the masses are saying just yet, but I know that some people are going to be upset. And I'm imagining Tony's going to elaborate why he's upset because Tony always elaborates why he's upset and less ecstatic than I am. Um, but uh, I'm really excited because one, I haven't gone to the original Halloween maze. Yeah. I've, we went through Halloween four um, in the previous year of HAH. And so it's kind of like, Oh man, we're going to get Michael Myers again. So there's that little bit of me that's like, ah, but the other part of me is like, cool, we're going through 78. What I really wish we would have seen, and I think this is a sediment of many, was either like a new trilogy um, house, like for the first Halloween film, 2018, and then Halloween Kills, I think, so the sequel. Um, wish we would have gotten that house instead, just because I feel like that would have been a better marketing opportunity uh, for Universal to do would be to set up the 
Halloween Ends movie that's coming out this year with doing a little hybrid new trilogy house. But in either case, I'm expecting a, a pretty solid maze. Um, I know that based upon what the speculation map saying, what we can see of the facades already being built, this is going in that curious George parking lot. Um, so not looking forward to that walk, but really looking forward to being able to walk through the maze. Yeah, man, it, it, it's one of those things where uh, surprisingly you're gonna you're gonna be a little surprised by my answer, but I'm I'm actually I'm not a, I'm not upset that this version is coming. Um, it, it's that's not you know that's cool. Um, I'm glad that you know it, it's it, at least it's that Halloween rather than another one. But you don't want Halloween six? Uh, no, not at all. No. Not even H two O. H two O. I could probably deal with. I could probably deal with that, but it's one of those things where I, it's not that I'm mad about this particular house coming. It, it's it, it was more that I was mad that this is going to be the uh, and I've been saying it wrong all day, but now it's kind of come back to me. But this is going to be the third third time in the last four, four or years. five years. Well, yeah, four the last four events, yeah. I think, right? Uh, well, 2019, I was brought to my attention that yeah, I was wrong about 2019. Um, there was not in 20, it was 2018. Uh, that was Halloween four, and then it came back in 2021. Um, so this is the third time within the last four years that we've uh, had that. Um, you know, Halloween as a property. This marking the third year this year. But it, I'm just, you know, it, it's more of me just wanting to see something else, uh, and and wanting to kind of have that that feeling that I want this to take a break long enough for me to want it to come back and it's happened a couple of times um where I was like okay it took a year off that's cool something else replaced it um you know if it comes back next year I'll be pretty stoked and I think that's what happened in 2017 and it, it was like 2016 they had uh, the Halloween 2 maze, then they took a break in 2017, and then 2018 came back with Halloween 4. And I was like, okay, cool. Two new mazes, uh, Michael Myers, I'm down with that. Then 2019, they took the break again. They brought it back in 2021, but it was obviously the repeat. It was the COVID, uh, post-COVID year, so it was a little bit, uh, you know, it was them coming back to, uh, you know, just the event in general, having events like that in general. So, I, we you know, me and Sammy have already talked about this many times, that that's the past year um, because of, of, you know, funds and whatnot. But... For me, you know, it, I, I was excited. The trailer looks really uh, cool, and I thought it was really well shot. Um, you know, it, it is 1978 Halloween, so, I mean, that is a, the classic, and, and I'm glad we'll be returning to um, Haddonfield. On the bright side, some positives about it for me, it was, yeah, you're right. It has been a long time since we've uh, had Halloween 1. You have never seen it. I have seen it before. Um, so I'm curious to see what they try new, what they do different, or if it's just going to be the same thing. Either way, you know, Halloween 1 is an iconic film, so I, I can guarantee you and I will have a good time in it. But it, it, it's just, you know, uh, I'm excited for it to be coming, but if it could have been an original or something else, I, I wouldn't have been mad about that. I actually would have been, okay, you know, something different, something flowing new, and then I, I'm kind of digging it. You know, I, I know right across from that location is the rumored um, – Scarecrow original that that's based out of Orlando that's coming to Hollywood supposedly in the um, in the speculations and rumors that we've been hearing. Um, but until we get confirmation about that, I'm curious to see what that maze is going to be. The facade looks amazing, um, so I'm, I'm 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 curious to see what that's going to be. But I think overall uh, the event's looking pretty strong right now, um, and there's a lot that that's that's gone up since we've last talked uh you know killer clowns from outer space is looking like it might be coming back they tried to cover the tent and we we talked about it earlier in this video but they tried to cover the tent and you could still see the yellow and red you can't hide the yellow and red you know sam yeah no i agree um one more thing i want to just touch on with that halloween is i definitely thought they should have waited if you are going to bring back 78, wait till the 2023 event of HHN, because right. that marks 45 years. Definitely think it's a nice anniversary gift to be like, oh, it's been 45 years. Let's go back. I think that would have been a really cool opportunity. Um, but I really, I, I really just, my, 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 it boils down to, I would have rather them done the new trilogy. Um, I like either case, I'm happy, but. I definitely thought I just definitely thought the the stars would have aligned to do the new trilogy just because 
oh, newest one's coming out in October. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, if uh, if it was Disney doing this haunt event, I definitely think they would have done that because as we were talking prior to filming, with it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Right. And um, I think Universal needs to, to buy into that. Um, so if if you do want to hire me, I, I'm I'm happy to be a freelance contractor. I can help you, uh, you know, come up with some maze ideas. It's you know, it'll be a it'll be a low charge. I just need a my light just uh, off. <laughs> Keep going. I just need <laughs> I just need a, a media pass uh, for me and Tony, um, and then a, a frequent fear pass with front of the line. It'll be light work. You know what I mean? I can co- help you come up with some ideas on you know you know making anniversaries line up. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm just really excited for HHN uh, to be coming back because uh, I, I just, it's going to be a, I feel like it's going to be a great year um, with the two announcements we've already gotten this far with the facades that we're already seeing coming up um, and the way that construction is just pushing forward. I definitely think that uh, we're, we're in for a really good year. Um, and my expectations are going to be high for this year. Um, and especially with like a, a return of a Halloween 78, like it's returning maze where, it, you know, it's all but guaranteed at this point that Lyrona, another returning maze is coming. So like, I definitely think on like something like Scarecrow, um, if that does end up coming, like I definitely think that's going to be top notch because they're bringing back all of these older properties. So there's going to be a lot less expen- expenses, hopefully. Um, and so that they could move those expenses to doing their other things. Cause like, I think we've shared this opinion before is what we like about knots is like, yeah, they, they do bring back the same mazes every year. Um, and really just cycle through with like bringing one or two new ones and then, uh, retiring one or two ones every year. Um, so I definitely think that like, hopefully universal can follow that approach of like, okay, we're gonna bring back a couple of old mazes. And, but on these new mazes, we're really going to bring top tier. Um, ideas and so that's what my expectations are um overall i really liked the promo the little that little video they threw out i thought that was really cool um especially how it ties into the uh, first announcement of like you know that was a girl on the phone meaning the skeptic that was shown in this uh promo um so i'm just really excited to see how these things are going to keep adding up um if there's like this uh uh horror nights cinematic universe esque thing happening here the multiverse uh, of madness uh I'm, I'm i'm excited to see how this turns out um especially because we're what's today june something i don't know the dates off the june top 8th. of my june 8th so we're just about three months out um from horn nights so i definitely think like we're gonna probably get another announcement relatively soon which is gonna be sick uh, I can guarantee you that we're getting an announcement come the last weekend of July, because uh, that's uh, when Mr. John Murdy Summer Scream. Mr. John Murdy will be taking the stage at Midsummer, doing and what he uh, does I know best. doing what he does best. We came for two things: one, give me a maze breakdown. I'm happy for that. Two, you're gonna give me an announcement. Well, and my uh, my third thing. Are you talking about just for that panel or just for that? Yeah, just for, just for that that panel. That well, panel. my my third thing, and, and 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 you know, it's always a pleasure. But you know, to see John Murdy himself too. So, oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, John. If you uh, if you're watching this video and you want to, you know, you want to be interviewed by us, just let us know. We're happy to do it. We'll we'll take one for the team. A hundred percent, John. We're your biggest fans. We've met you multiple <laughs> times, and you've been nice every single time. Yeah, uh, my fan clubs go. Uh, JFC, uh, the Cobb, Ed Cobb fan club, and uh, John Murdy fan club. You know, got a lot of different fan clubs. JFC! <laughs> if, if you know, you, you know, know. You know, man. I can't wait to get that text message after they watch this video. Just saying, F you. Fuck you. <laughs> but to, to make, uh, you know, to make everything sum up, uh, for me, um, I, I thought it was a big L not taking the opportunity to not do 2018 in kills. Um, however, if they were going to do any maze other than those two properties, I'm glad they're doing 1978. That is a classic. Um, and I think, you know, in a marketing standpoint, thinking about it now, it's a good way to, uh, to kind of pay a, a revisit to the original before it all ends because it started with that one movie 
and it's now we've done two in the new uh, trilogy that is coming, and, and Halloween ends is just around the corner as well. Um, so I'm excited to see, kind of reminisce, you know, from where we started to where we are. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited. So with all that being said, I'm I'm looking forward to this. What about you, Sammy? Overall, overall hype level is uh, through the roof at this point. Uh, September can't come soon enough. Um, can't wait to be out there. Really excited to be able to go out uh, the like September 23rd or whatever, whenever Knots opens. Uh, really planning that uh, Knots trip and hitting Universal that same weekend. So um, when the tickets go on sale, definitely going to be picking those up. Um, if you guys are going to be at either event during that time, let us know. We'll be happy to, to link up, maybe go through a maze together, maybe just shoot a picture together, whatever you guys want. We are of service to you. We, we, we are thankful for everyone watching this video and stay this long. Or, you uh, know, the show another thing I should add in that list, uh, just sit in Ghost Town and have a funnel cake with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you'll have to buy your own funnel cake. Uh, yeah, we can't provide that. I very, if, I was, if I was a millionaire, I would provide everyone with funnel cakes, but unfortunately, I'm not. So Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, see the way my bank account is set up. I got a savings. I got a checking. Uh, it takes a few <laughs> days to transfer. That's what my bank account on both freaking accounts tell me. My, mine does not look like that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yes, um, uh, you know, just to really, if you if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Um, if you, uh, what do you, let us know what your thoughts are on uh, the construction we've talked about, as well as this uh, announcement of Halloween seventy eight down in the comments below. Um, if you want to see more content like this, especially as the announcements ramp up and as we get closer to other conventions like Midsummer Scream. Uh, coming up at the end of July, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you can get not. Um, and if you want to get notified, hit the bell notification, and you can get all of our updates because we typically update during the week around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, based upon my research of our channel. Anyway, um, from 10 to 10:30, it's around that time. Yeah, yeah, around that time. Uh, you know, it really depends on uh, you know the stars and the moon how they align, but you know, more like uh, yeah. if I have free time at work. <laughs> the stars and the moon, if they align. <laughs> Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that bell notification. Um, and we're just looking forward to seeing what you guys think about this event. Uh, but if nothing else, we hope you all have a great day and peace. Peace. Give them the love.